Hello, my name is Lewis and I'm with Primeline Products and I'm here to tell you about Siegel Lock. It's a surface mount lock that's mounted on an exterior door. This happens to be on the inside of the house, obviously. And when this lock locks, it dead bolts the door. It's keyed on the other side. It takes a minimal amount of tools to install it, which I'll show you. And here we have the Siegel deadbolt lock set and this is how it comes packaged when you buy it out of the store. And there's everything inside the package to install this lock set and it includes a, if you want to mount it on the surface or if it's going to be mortised in. And you have all the necessary screws and now I'll show you the necessary tools to install the lock set. And here are the tools we're going to need to install the Siegel deadbolt. And we're going to start off just the, just the basic tools, hammer, masking tape, safety glasses, a drill, center punch, uh, a 1 and 3 8 hole saw, and this is another option to the hole saw, it's a 1 and 3 8 uh, it's called a speed board bit, hacksaw, pencil, a straight edge, and your basic Phillips, a chisel, and a straight blade screwdriver, and a pair of pliers. Okay, now I'm going to show you the different options we have for installing the deadbolt onto the door. We're on the inside of the house right now, and it's just a matter of where we want to place this deadbolt uh, along the, the door frame. And so we're going to put this deadbolt, you know, probably somewhere right about in this location here. And we have a couple options for mounting the, the strike onto the jam. One is a surface mount that would mount right onto the door casing. And the other is a little bit, uh, and it's the one we're going to actually use, is going to be a mortised in strike that's going to go mortised into the casing of the door frame and also the jam and but we need to give that some relief for that to go back in there and I'm going to show you how we're going to do that in just a second. Okay so now we're ready to use a template that's actually contained with the instructions on the back side of the instructions for where we're actually going to mount the deadbolt onto the door frame and it's pretty pretty straightforward and you just fold this however you need to fold it to get it onto your door. This happens to be a location we're going to put this on right here and we're going to align this to the edge of the door and then we're going to actually punch through the strike marks here for where the screws mount to the deadbolt and I'll show you how we're going to do that. Okay, I positioned the template on the door and I used a straight edge and the level and I just wanted to make sure that it was straight onto the door frame and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use a center punch and I'm going to uh, make marks where the holes are for the mounting holes and also for the hole for the deadbolt itself. Okay, with the template on the door, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to mark at every one of the hole locations. And also for the deadbolt. And the next step is going to be actually drilling pilot holes. Okay, I've used a center punch for where I marked my holes and this is going to be the hole for the deadbolt to go through and I've positioned it right where the deadbolt's going to be and I'm going to drill through part of the door and just as the bit starts to come out on the other side I'm going to reverse and I'm going to go on the other side of the door to drill back and that minimizes the uh, burrs that are going to come off of the wood here. Just want to make sure that you're level and straight as you're drilling through. Okay, I finished drilling the hole for the cylinder to go through. Now I'm going to drill the holes for the pilot holes for the screws. And I've used a piece of masking tape on here because I don't want to go all the way through the door. So this is approximately three quarters of an inch back from the tip. So this just tells me when to stop with my drill bit. Okay, we've drilled our holes for the mounting uh, plate for the deadbolt, and now we have to address, you know, the depth of what the tailpiece on the end of the cylinder going through the door is going to be, and also for the mounting screws that are going to attach the deadbolt to the door. So we need to know the thickness of the door. This door happens to be one and three quarter inches thick, and we use our diagram here for a one and three quarter inch door. So one and three quarter inch door, we're going to break the tailpiece at this point right here which is the center line on the tailpiece and then for the mounting screws we follow this over to the other side and we're going to be breaking this at Y on the screw which is this point right here. Okay here's a little bit of a technique that we came up with as an idea how to cut this off and 
I just use a pair of uh, channel locks or water pump pliers as they're called and this is the area where we need to cut the screw and I just hold this against a, a tabletop of any type and just slowly cut through. Okay, so now we're going to break off this tail piece right at that center line that was uh, in the instructions and I'm just going to hold my finger underneath that and I'm just going to pry that up and break it off. Now we're ready to place the cylinder into the door and we put this beauty ring on to, and this is going to be on the outside of the door. We're going to move the cylinder into the hole. We're going to line it up to our back plate that goes on the back side. And there's two mounting screws that go through and attach to that cylinder that's on the inside. So we're just going to line the screws up to the cylinder and I'm going to tighten both those screws in and that's going to fasten the cylinder into the door. Okay, we've secured the cylinder into the door and now we're going to push the shutter guard open so that we can put it right over that tailpiece of the deadbolt. And now we're going to use our screws to mount the, the deadbolt to the door. Okay, so now we're going to mount the deadbolt onto the door and we're going to use the two inch mounting screws and obviously we're going to use screws that wouldn't go as far as where it would go through the door. And we'll mount all four of these. Okay, we've mounted the deadbolt to the door and now we're ready to mount the strike onto the door jam. And this is the, the part that we got to mortise in for the strike on the side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to align it to the casing and I'm going to make a mark where how far we have to go in and cut out the casing material and also for the jam material. So I made a mark here and that's the top of our our strike and that's the depth. And now I'll show you how we're going to route that out. Okay, uh, I did a little bit of uh, routing out as we call it or mortising out for this strike and we had to do a little bit of removal of the casing and also the door jam. And so yeah, we were able to recess this back in so when the door is closed it actually is in the same position it was before we put the deadbolt on. And how we ended up mortising this out is just a matter of you make a line with your chisel and you drive your chisel in for your sides. And after you do your sides then you just come up and you just take small portions off as you go up. And you just take your time and that's how we did this whole piece here was just this hammer and this chisel. Okay, we have the strike on where we need it to go to uh, line up with the deadbolt. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pre-drill for the screws that are going into the strike. I'm going to put three quarter inch long screws going through the face. And I'm actually going to use the large screws that come with the deadbolt to get back into the stud that's in the wall on these back two screws. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pre-drill for those screw holes. Okay, we've installed our strike on the door jam, and we're, we're completed really with the project now. We're just going to make sure that it, everything lines, everything works fine. And that's really our completed project with the middle amount of tools. And if you need to know more information about this, you can look on SiegelLock.com or you can visit Primeline.net. And thank you for watching.